activist gets death threats after protesting the Muslim call to prayer. So you guys probably remember last week we talked about how in the German city of Cologne, they have allowed the mosques to be broadcasted. And so this is um, kind of a uh, follow-up from that, fallout from that. In mid-October, Nina uh, Ahadi, the founder of the Central Council of Ex-Muslims, the, and a number of other ex-Muslims and their supporters gathered in front of the Cologne Central Mosque to protest the broadcasting of the Azan, or the Muslim call to prayer. Based on a new law, all 35 mosques in Cologne are permitted to broadcast their call to prayer every Friday from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. For, um, up, for up to five minutes. The group's protest was met with harsh verbal attacks. Police were stationed in the area to stop any potentially violent response. After the protest, Ahadi began receiving threats online, intensifying after the Persian Arabic uh, language news coverage of the protest aired. One threat claimed that they had identified her address, and Ahadi has since been placed under police protection. She stated that, quote, the fight against the Azan is a fight against the Islamist movement and a defense of secular spaces. Ahadi plans to continue her protest by beginning a petition against the public broadcast of the Muslim call to prayer. This is so insane and in that this is becoming a thing in Germany. I'm so glad, I'm so grateful for, um, you know, the Central Council of Ex-Muslims and MENA for protesting against this because this is like such a violation of secularism for you to be able to force your religion on an entire neighborhood without their consent. Um, an entire city. What are your thoughts? Entire city, yeah. I believe every mosque in Cologne or at least 30, 35 of them. And apparently, um, actually, I don't, I'm not sure if that's true, so I'm not going to say it. Um, so when they were actually having this protest, like I said, there were about like 30 people who, um, many of whom were um, ex-Muslims or their supporters or other people who like to defend secularism and um, or generally do not appreciate um, the Muslim call of prayer being broadcasted in their neighborhood. And um, reportedly, they, were, they protested right outside the mosque. So they... Um, had several interactions with people um, coming and leaving from the mosque, and apparently some of them were a bit heated. Um, and then later, um, when everyone was leaving, they realized that they actually were a bit unsafe um, when they were leaving. So they had to make sure to leave individually and like wait the like in cars. Um, and reportedly, a um journalist for dw news um which is a publicly funded broadcast service in germany was attacked um while trying to leave the protest at, or um after the protest uh and so you know they experienced some threats in person but then it was afterwards where things got really bad um like your last day will come you you whore will burn in hell and she was talking to her friends and the, they were like, you have to talk to the police. And at first she called the police. And at first they were like, I'm, you know, come into the office or come into our um, station. And then after some time, they're like, actually, no, we're coming to you. And since then she has cars that patrol her neighborhood and she has um, someone with her when she wants to leave the house, which is really concerning. She said that, what was new this time, because being a prominent ex-Muslim in Germany um, does come with you know a fair amount of attention on you. What was new this time is she was experiencing a wealth, like much more attacks in Turkish than she had received before, um, which was concerning because Turkey has growing influence in Germany in many different ways. Um, and yeah, most of the mosques, most of the mosques in Germany are Turkish for people who don't know, but yeah, go on. Mm -hmm. Um, so if there are people who are interested in, uh, Mina and her issue, actually, let me find the link really quickly. The, um, sent, uh, the council for ex-Muslims of Britain 
um, they have created a petition that you can sign in solidarity with Mina Ahadi and um, against the murder threats that she's experiencing from um, Islamists. Let me put it in the live chat right now. Petition for Mina. Um, so you guys can check that out and learn more information if you're curious. Um, there, uh, she gave a statement to CEMB about this issue saying, uh, quote, the fight against the Azan is a fight against the Islamist movement and a defense of secular spaces. It is not against religious freedom. People have a right to religion, but the Azan, which is intrinsically linked to Islamist suppression in places like Iran, can not be allowed to occupy the public space. Um, okay, I would. The only thing I would change about that, I don't want to be picky because I appreciate everything Mina does and her work, but I wouldn't say the fight against the Azan. I would say the fight against the Azan in public places. So I would rephrase that. You know, say the fight against the Azan because we are mm -hmm. and we do defend, you know, like, I mean, I am against the Azan and everything Islamic, but, but we do support Muslims' rights to have the Adhan. So we're not fighting the Adhan. We're fighting the Adhan being imposed upon other people. So that I would rephrase the first part, but other than that, uh, I don't, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so can you um, show things. that social media post that I gave you to oh, display, yeah. please? There we go. Cool. Hey, so, Rana. Yeah. Here you can see Rana. Um, so for those who don't know, Rana is actually a woman who Atheist Republic helped escape Saudi Arabia. And she now lives in Germany. And she actually went on to found her own organization that fights for um, uh, atheist refugees with a specialty with Saudi Arabia, um, just called Atheist Refugees. Uh, go check them out. But she went to this protest and so here you can see her with their big sign uh, that shows a picture of the central mosque. And um, she had, in the beginning, she was holding up a sign that had like a, a picture of the mayor of Cologne, who was saying that this ordinance was, um, you know, all about diversity in Germany. That's Mina, I think. Yeah. And at the end, um, yeah. she's speaking in German, so I don't think we should play it. But you can see mm -hmm. Mina um, giving one of her speeches and um talking to the crowd about the issue and um mm. speaking about why they protest it um right so yeah i guess solidarity I with a, Mina and i have nothing but yeah, thanks and gratitudes towards um her organizing stuff like this and continuing to fight for secular spaces my suggestion is when we are fighting for secularism I think we should focus on secularism rather than saying how bad, like, because like, for example, Mina is, uh, you know, Iranian, um, Rana is, uh, you know, well, she lived in Saudi, but she's like Syrian, I think. Right. Um, but I, and you could keep highlighting the fact about how bad Islam is and we, as ex-Muslims living in, I don't know, Germany or Canada or whatever, this is this is a horrible ideology and why this is being, um, you know, why is this being taught here? This shouldn't belong in a German society. But I don't think that should be your highlight. I think your highlight should be secularism. It doesn't really even matter how bad Islam is. It's a religion and it shouldn't be imposed on people, right? This is that's that's that should be your main argument because if you keep highlighting how bad islam is it seems like you're fighting for a principle that is not really you know what is being defended here like you it might look like if this is your this is more about your personal anti-islam views rather than fighting for a principle that re re needs defending if you focus on the secularism aspect i think you will get more of a your arguments would be a lot better received. And to that point, you, so you want to say something? Well, I think you're very I, I true. Like, like, I think you're very right. Like that universalizes it. And to that point, Mia says that she actually opposes church bells as well. Um, That's so she's perfect. completely consistent. Um, Amazing. 
with one thing that they also talked about that I haven't mentioned yet is one reason why they're opposing it because they were saying that for many people who have bad histories with Islam or this has infected their life in a really negative way, the Islam can be very re-traumatizing in many ways to a lot of people. It can remind them of some of the most um, hard and horrific like times in their life. And so they're saying as citizens of this city, we don't like being exposed to this continually in the public space and we should but that makes prevent it i don't think that's a good it. argument i mean it, it is true for many people but it's not enough people i don't think that's the reason why we're against this i don't think like we should make this well we're so traumatized by the azan that that's why i mean the people are like okay well then grow up i don't know get it like that's what people like get you know it's just a noise like why are you being traumatized like i i'm not saying people don't get traumatized because people have had really bad experiences with islam but i think like even our problem is that even if this was even if islam was not bad okay even if the azan was not traumatizing this is setting a precedent on what um people being able to impose their ideology on other people this needs to be stopped for other reasons you know what i mean and for that reason we're against church because like for example in the live chat like people are saying is church allowed and the defense to that is that Church bells aren't a lot annoying. Guys, it doesn't matter, okay? Honestly, the azan, once you get over the traumatizing experience of azan, if you hear it for the first time without the background experience that you have with Islam, the azan could be extremely beautiful, okay? Church bells are, could be beautiful to listen to, and the azan could be beautiful to listen to, but these are religions, and you don't get to just impose them on people who don't want them. You shouldn't... Be able to do that okay so yes church bells should be stopped as well okay church bells should be stopped unless everybody agrees that this is not religious or azan becomes secularized and everybody accepts that like okay fine we, we want it but i don't think they want i think for the for the sake of secular even if there are a minority of group of people that be like hey i don't i'm not a christian i don't appreciate hearing your church bells i think here's the thing I would defend Muslims, okay? Muslim, if a Muslim comes and says, you know what, the church bells are beautiful, but they're Christians and they're Christian, and I'm a Muslim and I don't appreciate hearing your Christian propaganda. Well, you know, I don't, I want it to stop. Why is this being imposed on me? You know what? That Muslim would be right. I would be defending that Muslim. You don't, you can't do that. You can't ex impose your Christian church bells on a Muslim that is living in Germany. So yeah, end the church bells or make them loud enough only for the people in the church to be able to hear it. And also the azan, end the azan and just make it loud enough for only the people in the mosque could hear, right? Is this too much to ask? I mean, we all have apps and everybody has like their phone. They can listen to the azan. Their apps reminds you when the call to prayer is. What is the, actually, here's another point. What is the point of this? Because we know that the call, you don't need a reminder of the azan to call to prayer. We know that every Muslim can listen to the azan anytime they want on their phone. So what's the point of this? This is getting, this is the point of church bells and azans and everything like that is to claim a territory. Okay. And that's why these things need to be stopped. This is like you getting others to submit, whatever religion it is. And I think the best way to respond to that is the satanic temple. Do we have the satanic temple in Germany? Because there's we need the gotta satanic be something temple equivalent. In there's got to be something equivalent. Do they have what do they what do they what is their call to prayer? Do they have like a screaming goat sound of a, a, or like a, <laughs> or do they have like a the cries of a virgin being sacrificed? I don't know. What do they have? Whatever they have, whatever they it's have. It's just the sound of an need, abortion. <laughs> Whatever the satanic temple has, they need to come out in Germany and be like, hey, I heard like religions get to just put things on loudspeakers. Um, we want and I want I want to see what would the Muslim community say when the same laws that makes them allowed to play the Azad in the neighborhood, when their children are now have to be exposed to listening to something satanic okay i wonder how much they would like that something satanic needs to be played over loudspeakers 
in Muslim neighborhoods, and they were like, "This is what you ask for." And I can I can tell you, Christians and Muslims, they start appreciating secularism so fast, so fast. They're like, so true. They line up. They're like, secularism, please, please give us secularism as soon as you expose them to anything satanic. So satanic temple, Germany, do it. Make this it is happen. from the devil. They're coming for our children. Okay, we take it back. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what it would be. I want it to be something really good. It has to be like, hail Satan, there is no God. <laughs> There's no Hail satanic Satan. people. Heal yourself. No, there are there are there are satanic prayers. I think you could just play that. Oh, you're right. There's some there are satanic prayers. Just put those on loudspeaker. If Germany is Germany gonna stop that? Is German's government gonna stop that? Guys, make that happen. Germany. Satanic satanists in Germany. Come on, please. This is the thing. Do it. Do your job. I know I need to okay. find this. Don't play it. It might be copyrighted. There are some really good ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was Googling. Should... The first thing I see is a story from 2008. In Alaska, a satanic temple member who won the right to open a regional Alaska uh, government meeting declared, Hail Satan, during her first invocation, prompting about a dozen officials and attendees to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> perfect that's Beautiful. a perfect you it's want... like, you're allowed to open a government meeting with prayer i'm gonna go pray to satan <laughs> you want religion in politics you want religion in schools you want religions on loudspeakers and in, in neighborhoods you got it it needs to you have to play it has to be if, it, if it's fair for islam it's fair for this for the satanic temple Ooh, guys this it. is the most what that which will not bend must break and that which can be destroyed by truth should never be spared as demise it is done hail satan perfect beautiful i never that's enjoyed great. The prayer. that's good that is great. <laughs> yeah all right somebody do that all right, hail Satan. Hey, guys, everybody in life chat, give us a hail Satan before we move to the next. Or you can also <laughs> hail yourself. Hail me. Yeah, go like that. Come on, y'all. That is uh, that's all it takes to make you. Yeah, guys, but I really <laughs> think I really I'm I, I guys, this is not a joke. I really think this is, has to happen. I really think we need to have the satanic temple playing the, some satanic temple and loudspeakers in Germany. Oh, look at this. We got Hail Satan, Hail Satan. Oh, my God. You guys responded. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.